This video is sponsored by ACS Composite, makers of quality accessories for your Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be installing an engine appearance package from ACS Composite on my Corvette. So what we're doing here today is this is a, I wanted to lay all these parts out. It came in this really nice box with everything completely covered up. Um, but I pulled them out so you could see everything as we go. Now everything is kind of a press in, set in place. Uh, so there's no glue or any sticky tape or anything like that. It's all either bolted down or it's pinned down by the seals or all of the parts that are in the car. So um, what we're going to do here, I just wanted to lay these out and let you see what they look like. This is a custom uh, painted version that they painted for me for my car, uh, being a red mist car. And um, I'm really excited on how to to get this on and see how it's just going to dress up this engine compartment. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and jump into the video now and we'll show you how we get this on there. So before I get started, I just want to cover the fact that the instructions come in the box. It explains everything. You get all of the parts that I just showed you a minute ago, as well as I didn't point them out a bit originally, but it comes with four little nylon washers that are used to be able to put the um, the screws on to hold down the um, these little guys that go on each side of the engine compartment. Okay, so that way you're not scraping your paint when you go to tighten those bolts down. So what we want to do now though is we've got to get ourselves prepped because this one has mag ride. We've got to be able to take our mag ride connector loose, and um, you've got. You've got like these little Christmas trees that kind of hold them in there. And you can either use a nylon pry tool or a tool like I have here, which is a little bit better for keeping the stress off of the plastic. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go pull this out just like that. Okay, that releases that. Then there's a red security tab that's, uh, that's actually right here. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to pull that. And if you guys have been working around the Corvettes any length of time, you, you know about those. And then this little guy just kind of presses down. We've got to get it all the way out there. And then you can press right behind it. There's a spot right behind the red that is another piece of the black tab. You're going to press down on it and it'll just come loose. So we're going to do that on the opposite side and then we'll come back to this side. Just like that. So once you've got your pigtail here loose, you're going to use a little pry tool or a screwdriver and you're going to be able to pull this plug apart. And so you'll pry this little tab up. I'm going to show you on the other side. It's closer to the camera. I'm going to show you how that's done. But this just slides out. Okay. And then what you're going to do, we'll go ahead and we'll move this one up. And I'll set this one kind of over there so we can kind of work with this. We'll put this right through the hole, okay, just like that. We'll just let it sit, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put our plug back together. Okay, our, our, our bracket here. So it'll go back together, snaps in place. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to leave that like that. We're going to move over to the other side. Okay, so we're on the other side, and hopefully you guys can pick this up. I've got this right here. So what we're going to be doing is we've got to be able to separate this little, the little clip tree here from the main plug so it'll go through the hole. So what I'm doing is I'm using a small little screwdriver, and you want to be careful that you're not going to end up stabbing yourself. But basically, this clip is pretty tough, and it's got a pretty good size little, uh, little, uh, what I call it, a bump on there that locks it in place. So I've got my camera zoomed in pretty well, and I will try to edit this and zoom it in even closer. 
but you're going to go right in between this piece right here and right here and you're going to go up with it and I'm going to try to see if I can keep from stabbing myself here but you got to get it up in there you can see that it will slip out of the way so just be really careful there we go so now at this point this little guy will slide off just like that but like I said that's going to end up being probably the hardest part of this whole thing so now what we're going to do is we're just going to slide this over and fish it through the, the uh, rubber grommet here. Okay. Just like that. And then we'll lay that, we'll just let that sit for a minute. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put this plug back together because I don't, I don't want to lose this part. So you'll just slide it back together, just like that. And then we'll leave that free for a minute. Now, the next thing that we have to do here, guys, is we've got to lift up on our rubber seal here, and we're going to have to lift it up and off, okay? And you just have to take this edge. You don't have to take the whole thing, but take it up right to this corner, and you're just going to let it go into the trunk area, okay? Now that's in place. Now we'll move over to the back over to the other side and we'll go ahead and put the first uh, side piece on. Now that we're over on the other side again, we've got our piece here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to set this in place. Now there is a drain hole right here. You can't get that wrong. You just make sure that that fits right down in the drain. Then you also go ahead and you just press this in place. Just like this. Okay. That's all there is to it. It's, the seal is going to end up holding it in place. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and we'll put this seal back down over on this side, which we've got to get it to start. Okay. And then this has an outer seal and an inner seal for the trunk just for appearance. So you want to make sure that you get both both seals nice and secure. Okay. And then we'll come around over on this side here. We'll do the same thing. Because we can get we can get a lot of it done here before we even put the next side on. Okay. Just like this. Okie dokie, moving over to the other side. All right, now we're gonna bring the other side over. Again, making sure that you get the drain hole into the drain hole, just like that. We're gonna move our, our rubber out of the way here. Okay, and this way we can set this down. So you can see how that fits. It fits really, really nice. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue to push our seal down. Make sure that this is covering up our carpet on the inside. Okay. That just looks so finished. It's, it's just crazy how nice this looks. So, that is all there is to this surround piece. Now you can see here, this is going around. Everything just looks nice and nice and clean and orderly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the other two side pieces on here of the appearance package. So I'm going to go grab one of those and then we'll go from there. Now at this point, we are going to be utilizing a 40 Torx on this bolt right here as well as this bolt right here, okay? So we're going to pull these two 40 torques out of here. Set that one here. Set this one, we'll get this one out of the way here. 
So we've got those out and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our new cover here and it slides these, this tab, it just goes right underneath this framework and that goes down like so. Okay, I'm going to get that little guy to go down in there. There we go. And so you can see there that that sits in there really nice. Now those two, the two washers that I was talking about, these nylon washers, this is where you're going to use these. You're going to, you don't want to have this bolt spinning on this really nice paint. So you're going to use those nylon washers. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll put that on the other one over here. Just like so. And then you're just going to tighten it up. Alright. Same thing with this one. And what I'd recommend, guys, is once you get down to here, where, it, where when you're putting pressure on this handle as you're tightening this up, you should always pull away from you and not toward that glass because that really is glass. And if your handle slips going the other direction, it's going to shatter that glass. Okay? So there we go. So that one, that side right there is done. Now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to jump onto the other side. So we've got our last piece that we need to put on, but we've got to take our last two bolts out on this side. So we're going to go ahead and take these guys off. Okay, slip that out of the way. Get those little guys out of there then we can go ahead and again it's got this one tab here you're just going to tuck underneath the framework there okay it's like so okay and then you're going to put your bolts back in but you got to put use your your nylon washers okay just like that Go ahead and we're going to tighten these little guys up. Okay, so we are almost done. guys we got one one last step that's it what we've got to do is we've got to make up for the distance that the cover made up so what they say to do is to turn each one of these 180 degrees clockwise so I'm literally just gonna go like this like that and I'm gonna go over to the other side and I'm gonna do the exact same thing Okay, so at that point, all we have to do is we just got to check. I'm going to close the, close the trunk here, and then we're just going to let the trunk close and see how it comes down. You can see that that's, that's looking pretty good, guys. 
So guys, that's all there is to install on one of these, and I tell you, this is awesome. This looks so good. I cannot even get over it. Um, I just want to thank ACS Composite for sending this to me today. Uh, this was it's unbelievable. I, I mean, this thing is a paint match, perfect, and uh, it just looks wonderful, and it changes how the engine compartment looks. And I'm sure that um, you guys are going to want to get one of these for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all of their information right here on the screen. And so this way you'll know exactly where to go to get one. And uh, like I said, guys, I don't know if the camera's doing this justice, but man, it really looks good. So um, those of you, uh, again, you guys that have subscribed already, please uh, thank you very much for, for subscribing if you have not already. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And uh, guys, stay tuned because we've got a lot, a lot more C8 uh, content to come, as well as other cars too. But um, you know, this one, uh, this one, I've got a bunch of stuff ready to go, and we're going to go ahead and, and just keep plugging through. So stay tuned, okay? So guys, thank you again for watching, and we'll talk to you later. We'd like to thank you for watching the Corvette channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.